burning flights in the North Sea in areas deemed unapproachable by British shipping. This activity proves highly effective, experiencing a low casualty rate of less than 1.9 aircraft per mission. The Hampton also saw a return to its use as a daytime bomber during the Norwegian campaign, but quickly proved to be undergunned in the face of German fighters. The slim and compact fuselage of the aircraft was quite cramped, being wide enough only for a single person. The navigator sat behind the pilot and access in the cockpit required folding down the seats. Once in place, the crew had almost no room to move and were typically uncomfortable during long missions. Air crews referred to the Hampton by various nicknames due to this, such as Flying Suitcase, Panhandle and Flying Tadpole. The newest of the three medium bombers, the Hampton was often referred to by air crews as the Flying Suitcase because of its cramped crew conditions or more plausibly because of the unusual thin, deep slabbed sided and rectangular shape of the fuselage was reminiscent of that of a suitcase. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening and until next time.